Hi guys, welcome back alley cats. And if you're not an alley cat, subscribe, become one. Join the kitty litter. It's not as gross as it sounds. Like this video, share it with your friends and family so that they can become alley cats too. Turn on the notification bell so you know when I post. I post every Friday and soon to be more. So this look here, I came up with at like 1 a.m. when I was bored one night and I just I couldn't sleep and I was just like, okay, let's try something weird out. <laughs> I thought it turned out really cool and I just had to share it with you guys. So here we are. This is the, I don't give a oop, smoky eye. <laughs> All right, so starting off with an eyeshadow primer. Duh. This is by Pretty Vulgar. All right, so I'm gonna do one eye off camera and I will be right back. Isn't this such a badass look? Like, I feel so cool. And when I get both eyes on, I'm gonna be like, Ooh, I'm gonna be the coolest. <laughs> no, but I'm gonna feel cool. Let me show you how I did this. Starting off with the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. We're gonna be going into the shade Perfectionist. First of all, after I primed my eyes, I put a light base all over just so everything would blend out really nicely. You need to be able to blend this, okay? So going into Perfectionist with a big fluffy crease brush, and then we're starting at the outer corner and we're going to build this up into the crease. Now, I don't want it to be super saturated color. Just enough to where when we place the black soon, spoiler alert, <laughs> it will blend easier. And this is such a beautiful, warm shade. I really love this shade in the palette. So now taking this smaller mini tapered brush from Luxie, I'm going to take this up below my eye, all the way in, but avoiding the tear duct here. Look how dirty this mirror is. What the hell? <laughs> what happened? You want this pretty blown out. So I'm really blending this one out. It's hard to see because I'm trying to be very soft with it. Now going in with a flat shadow brush and the shade Temptress, which is pretty much just the black in the palette. We're gonna load up the black on the shadow brush and then place it directly and press it on to the lid. This is gonna help reduce fallout, this pressing motion. And you're starting at that outer corner and you're gonna build that up into your crease and do this very softly. Use up what's on the brush and just blend with the top edge of the shadow brush here. It'll end up looking a little more grayish than pure black and that's fine, that's what I want. Load it up again and when you load it up again, start back at the outer corner before you go anywhere else and at that lash line. So this remains the darkest area. And we're gonna start bringing that in all the way across the lid, going up into that inner crease, not bringing it up too high. I'd be mindful of your eye shape and what's going to be flattering on you. So now I have this place I can start blending and I'm going to blend this upward a little bit. You don't want to go too far here. You want it to stay very soft. And we're going to bring this down below the lash line as well. Just using more of the actual tip of the brush. And really dragging that all the way in, but avoiding the tear duct. And you can honestly be messy with this. Have fun. This is a rock and roll look, okay? So once I have that placed, I'm going to start blending. I'm going to go back in with perfectionist and blend this out. So I'm being very soft with my brush here. And I'm using more of the edge of it as well. I really don't want to blend this black out too far, but I don't want any harsh edges either. So, so you can see it's starting to blend out. It's going to take a little bit. I mean, you're going with two shades here, taupe and black, like, so it takes a light hand and a lot of blending. And then for underneath, I'm going back in with that tapered brush 
and we're gonna blend out the edge and underneath. All right, once that's placed, I'm going to go in with a highlighter. For the highlighter, I'm using AOA Studio Wonder Baked Highlighter in Cream Puff. It's such a beautiful like champagne highlight. Using Real Techniques Accent Brush to apply this and going right in that inner corner. For the brow bone, I wanna keep it a little more neutral, so we're going in with the shade Certified. And then using an angled brush, I'm just gonna go into that black very lightly, very lightly, and I'm gonna contour my eye bag. You guys know, I gotta do it, I gotta. I'm using a Kala Eyeshadow 106 brush. Going back into Perfectionist and I'm just blending that line out that I just made. Now this is the fun part. This is also the scary part. I feel like I'm gonna lose some people here. But we're gonna go in with mascara and not on the eyelashes. You see all this cool texture here was created with mascara. So don't run away, come on, stay here. <laughs> I know it's scary, but it looks so cool. Look at that. Let's do this. So I'm just using, honestly, for this, I would use any old mascara <laughs> that you don't entirely love. I know we all kind of have that one around. I'm going to use NYX On The Rise Volume Mascara. It has a synthetic brush, and I just like the texture it creates with the little bristles. So here we go. Ah! This is such a fun technique. Okay. So we're going to press this directly on the eye and just start going at it. Have fun. I like most of the depth, darkness, and texture to be at the outer corner though. So keep that in mind as you place it. And you're just gonna start really just going in. Be careful with this. Obviously be very gentle around your eye. Don't poke your eye out. Do this at your own risk. <laughs> and then build it up into a triangular shape at the outer corner. No, it's not gonna match. It's very hard to make this symmetrical. Um, the splotches aren't gonna be symmetrical. That's not really the point of this. The point is to make it look badass, cool, like you don't give a bleep. <laughs> like literally, it is freaking cool looking. Look at that texture, it's just so cool. I'm obsessed. And then you can start bringing that down below the lash line too. For this, I really did only do it at the outer corner though. I wanted this side to be a little messier. I just got mascara straight up in my hair. Do you see this? My hair is black now. Okay. Well, all right. Well, hey, there you go. All right, when you're feeling sufficiently rock and roll, <laughs> you're gonna throw on some liner on the waterline and upper lash line as well. I'm using Marc Jacobs Fine Liner Ultra Skinny Gel Eye Crayon in black. Next up, the lashes. Let me figure out which ones. <laughs> These are the AOA Studio L 100% Natural Hair Lashes. I really do feel like such a badass. Like, ooh, I forgot how much I loved dark makeup. Like dark eye makeup. It's been, it's been a moment for me. Have I done a smoky eye on this channel before? I don't think I have. I haven't had a smoky eye on in like a long time, honestly, because I can't be bothered most of the time, to be very honest, but. <laughs> Woo! I love it. <laughs> I really hope you guys try this look. Like, I really hope you guys do this. I know it's scary. I know with the mascara, it's like, that is the like ultimate F up when you accidentally put your mascara on your eye. We all hate it. We all get angry. 
we want to just take the makeup off at that point. We're like done with the day. You know what? Never mind. I'm not going out. But this look like you can just keep pressing that mascara all over your eye and you're going to look like a badass. <laughs> I hope you guys try this. Tell me if you try it. I know it's scary, but do it. I want to see it. You're going to look so badass and we can be badass babes together, okay? All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and become an alley cat. Alley cat. <laughs> like this video, share it with your friends and family so that they can become alley cats too. And turn on your notifications so you know when I post because I'm going to be posting more than just Friday. And stick with me. I have so much more in store. I love you guys. Bye.